for wild horses to be on the losing end of everything all the time, just for the crime of being born. You know, I love these horses more than just about anything, but they've got to have the range to, to support them. Three years ago, three friends and I adopted some wild mustangs from the BLM and we trained them and we rode them about 3,000 miles from Mexico to Canada through the American West. It was intense. Oh. It's completely changed my life. We did the trip to have a really great time and to also inspire wild horse adoptions and to show people this crisis going on in the West. Horses reproduce quickly, and if they get overpopulated, they can destroy rangeland habitat that wildlife depend on. So the BLM rounds up excess horses to prevent overgrazing and offer them up for adoption. But there aren't enough adopters, and they've begun to stockpile. There are nearly 50,000 wild horses and burros in government holding pens, costing taxpayers about 50 million annually. Wild horse numbers have continued to rise, and right now there are over two and a half times the number of horses that is the appropriate management level. It's ignited a range war between wild horse advocates who think that the appropriate management level is too low, between ranchers who want more livestock, and wildlife organizations that want priority to be put on native species. The horses don't have a place to go. There's not enough adopters, they virtually have no predators, and overgrazing is real. Overgrazing leads to desertification. It allows invasive species and weeds to take over, and in severe cases, they could starve. TJ, what is the meaning of life? We'll start off this really slow. Horses. <laughs> Of course, horses, mustangs. Um, okay, so so oh where are we? I'm TJ and I document the mustangs of Spring Creek Basin. I've been doing that for about nine years now. I volunteer for BLM. I dart with the PZP fertility control vaccine to try to slow the population growth in Spring Creek Basin, but not stop it so we can at least lengthen the interval between roundups. And it's an amazing thing that that little thing right there is gonna prevent her from having a foal for a year, which will potentially prevent a horse from growing up, being rounded up, going to a holding pen. There's that psh of the rifle, and then that mare jumps. It's like a school of fish. The whole band is tuned into each other. So when she darts, they all go. But like you could see with these guys, they didn't go very far. Spring Creek Basin is almost 22,000 acres, but it wouldn't matter if we were 220,000 acres. Because the theory behind it is still the same. You know, you've got to have the resource to enable the horses and the other wildlife to live here. And if you don't have that, you don't have a healthy wild horse herd, you don't have a healthy elk herd, you don't have a healthy deer herd or pronghorn herd. It's the same type of conservation philosophy. For us to make the PZP program work here, we couldn't do it without volunteers like TJ. It's a smaller herd area. Um, we have a smaller number of horses. What works here for us does not necessarily work exactly the same from herd area to herd area. Can it be used everywhere? Maybe not. Keyword maybe. I don't know. Does BLM know? My goal really is to manage on the range, manage them where they're found in the wild. So in an ideal situation, um, I'd like to see BLM adopt more partnership models 
use volunteers to help document, help dart with PZP, to lower the birth rate of the horses on their ranges to the point where we can equal the horses coming off the range with, with the adoption demand. I'm making sure that every mare has the chance to contribute her genetics. Here we are 2016, we haven't had a Roundup, won't need one for at least another couple of years because of the success of PZP in Spring Creek Basin. That has been the, that has been my life in a nutshell. Um, but it's a pretty good thing because you can look back on these last nine years and say, you know what, I made a difference. This is the hurt in my heart. And that's why I do what I do.